YouTube I am practicing looking into the lens instead of looking at my viewfinder when I'm doing videos that is so hard because I keep checking myself out anyway today is going to be a video of a spring makeup look finally I'm going to do a spring makeup look um, I just did a video on um, the foundation I'm using so I use my found I put my foundation on first which I Sometimes do, sometimes don't do. But the foundation, because you won't see it in this video, is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. And I have it in the color Deep Honey. So, I have a new palette that I did, um, that I showed you in a haul. The VIB haul, and it is the Makeup Forever Artist, I think it's the 3? Yeah, mm -hmm. Artist Shadows number 3 palette, which is considered the Spring Palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So I am going to come up with something here. Just like I'm winging it. I'm going to come up with something. A spring look. And I'm also going to be using my Naked palette. Because the Makeup Forever palette does not have um, any good transition colors in it. It seems mostly shimmery. So, we are going to get started. I am going to take my glasses off. I am going to do the best I can. The mirror may be blocking me sometimes. This is what happens when you can't see well. Um, I may also, instead of using that Naked palette, I may use my MAC um, Single Eyeshadow in Saddle. And then I may use as a Brow Bone color, and it depends, um, Bamboo for MAC. Both of them are matte eyeshadows um so these glasses are going to be coming off and I am going to get started so if you want to see what I come up with stay tuned
YouTube so this is my sort of kind of um spring makeup look using the makeup for art makeup forever artist three palettes um and I showed you the shadows that I used on my eyes but I know that I am going to either forget to put in the description box what I used or I'm going to try to annotate and it's going to be going too fast and it's not going to be right. So I'm going to tell you what I used besides that. I didn't use the Naked palette so I did go ahead and use um, Saddle and Bamboo on my eyes in addition to that palette. On my, um, on my lips, since I have it right here, I used Max Up the Amp and it is an amplified lipstick and to sort of ombre it in the corners I use the MAC lip pencil in Night Moth. Um, as a base on my lids I use the um, Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Painterly because I wanted um, some sort of vibrancy to my eyeshadows. Mascaras that I used on my upper lids I use Mally's More is More Mascara to coats. And on the bottom, I used um, Bare Minerals Lash Domination. This is the one with the petite brush. That's why I showed you the brush in the video. On my cheeks, I used It Cosmetics CC Plus Ombre Blush in the color Sugar Plum. And that looks like that. On as a highlight, I used, and this is an old one, no longer available. I'm sorry, the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the color Superb. So no, it's not the one that everybody likes. That everybody is so crazy over. Which one is that? Which I do have, but I wanted to give it a break. Um, Whisper of Guilt. So I bought those both at the same time. So I used Superb because I thought also this went better. Um, of course, I told you the foundation was the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea in Deep Honey. And the corrector that I use under my foundation is Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer. It is the dual concealer in dark. Um, in my waterline and to tight line, I use um, Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Perversion. And I think that that is it for everything that I used on my face. I'm going to zoom in one more time so you can see. And I tried to blend that lipstick out as much as I could. I didn't really want the line here and the line there. I just wanted it to be sort of ombre in the corners. And let's see if we can lighten it up so you can see a little better. So those are the lips. And I tried to do the halo eyeshadow look. So this is what my eyes came out looking like um and that is it you can see i guess a little bit the highlight on my cheeks which is the superb from mac and i look super washed out now okay that is it you all i am so glad i finally did this this has been on my mind for weeks since i think that i was asked to do a spring makeup tutorial and I am happy. I am still not a fan or very good at the wing liner, but I continue to practice doing it and trying to do it. And oh, that's what I use. This makes it much easier. The um, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper is what I use. Makes it much easier to attempt to do a wing for me. 
Anyway, thank you all so much for watching my spring makeup tutorial. Thank you all for hanging in there with me with my mistakes and I'm trying to get better. Have a great weekend. Bye.